Welcome to this uh, radio channel and uh, this is the video for the basic operation of the ICOM ICR20 communications receiver. The instruction manuals, although it's doing a good job in actually explaining how things work on the ICOM ICR20, is not the best that I've seen. Some parts are clear, some parts are more difficult to understand. So I've decided to do a series of videos to help anyone that has or anyone that is about to buy an ICOM ICR20 portable communications receiver. So this is a great, great portable receiver and you can actually read my, uh, look at my review online uh, that I have on the channel so uh, you'll have an idea of uh, how good it is and um, the good and the bad because every receiver has good and bad, no receiver is 100% perfect. So basic operations of this receiver, uh, just you know, knowing how to actually use it. So the power button is on the upper right, so all you have to do is press and hold the power button until the display shows up. How do you listen to frequencies? So for example, if I want to listen to my local weather frequency I just punch in the, the frequency so 162 by using the keypad dot 550 and once you've entered all the digits it's automatically entered for listening so reception is as easy as that all you have to do is punch in the frequency you want to listen to. For example, I want to listen to my uh, local airport frequency. Well, the uh, departures is on 119.9 and it's an AM mode. So how do I do that? First of all, you enter the frequency 119.900. Here it is punched in. And to change mode, you have right here on the top row, the third button says mode and scan. All you have to do is quick press mode. Don't hold it, just a quick press. And you'll see that the mode changes. Lower sideband, upper sideband, CW, FM, wide FM, and AM. You might have noticed one thing is that the AM mode was already selected. The receiver remembers different modes of different bands. So if you're on a uh, band where you listen to signals, for example, the air band and AM mode, it will automatically go to AM because it knows that the last time you've used the receiver, that was the default that you actually chose. So this is pretty cool because depending on where you're tuning in you don't always have to press the mode switch to go to the mode that you want to listen to so mode switch right here on the top row gives you a choice between AM FM FM Y WFM and you've got upper sideband as USB lower sideband as LSB and CW for the Morse code now you've got your squelch levels how do you change your squelch levels all you have to do is hold the upper button you see there's a three button row on the left side of this scanner you hold the top button and while you're holding you can actually use the right side because you see there's two buttons on top one changes the options the other one changes the volume and depending on what you're doing it has different functions these buttons don't always do the same thing so while you're holding on the left upper left you just turn around and you can see at the bottom it says squelch is automatic or there are levels so you can change between open which means that the squelch is totally open there's no squelch at all here or you can actually uh, just put it while holding again with the right top dial button at automatic automatic is probably the 
setting you'll use most of the time. It's the best setting for almost anything. The only uh, reason I can see to change to level modes, because you see levels, is if you want to get out some weaker signals while still receiving stronger signals, then you can play with the levels so that the, the squelch will uh, actually open on uh, the more you, you put the level high, so from level 1 to 9, the higher the level, the more strong the signal needs to be to actually open the squelch. So depending on what you want to listen to. And like I said, automatic is very often the best setting. So I'll set it at auto here. And once it's set, you can uh, just leave alone the scanner button and everything is okay. If you need to uh, just, you know, quickly listen, is there something on, you can actually just press and hold. I'll just put the volume higher here. Press and hold. And you can see that it takes the squelch off. And once you've noticed or you listen to whatever you want to listen that didn't actually uh, make the squelch go off, or if you want to make sure that nothing is being blocked by the squelch, you can just lead, let go of the button. So this is the Montreal Tower for uh, the departures of the uh, airport here in Montreal. So it's very easy to um, use this scanner. Another uh, quick basic function that you'll probably want to use is the fact that on the upper, um, on the up of this, on the top of the scanner, sorry, you have two buttons. One, you are not touching anything. One of the buttons, the left one, is for the volume. So you can see here my volume going down or up. So the left dial button on the top is volume. And the right dial button on the top, while you're not touching anything, is for changing your frequency. It's like a uh, big tuning knob on those radios. The right side is the tuning knob, so you can actually see here. I'm actually changing frequency. And it's a digital type um, of a button, so it doesn't have uh, anywhere where it stops. It's, it goes continuously. So you just tune around. So this is like your VFO tuning around the receiver. So this is the basic of basics. You've entered your frequency that you want to listen to. You know how to set your squelch. You know how to change the frequency with the VFO. And you also know how to change the volume setting. And one last function we'll see on this basic setting on this basic use is from a frequency how do I scan up or down from the frequency I've entered well you've noticed that I show you how to uh, change mode with this mode scan button right here uh, if instead of just doing a quick press you press and hold and here it says that it starts scanning and the beeps tell you that it started scanning and you can see here it's scanning upwards you want to change it downwards go to your frequency change button and just turn it counterclockwise and here it goes now it's going downwards instead of upwards in the scan mode so this is the first video on very basic operation you'll be able with what I just showed you uh, to punch in a frequency to listen to it and you'll uh, know how to change mode you'll know how to play with the squelch settings and you'll also uh, be able to uh, lower or uh, put a higher or lower volume and of course scan uh, up or down from a centered frequency you might have entered and if you want to stop the scan, once it's scanning, all you have to do is a quick press on the dual watch button here. And it will stop scanning. And so I want to listen to another frequency. Maybe I want to try the, the local weather once again. Then I'll just enter it. 162.550. Volume too high, the left dial button here for the volume that's too high. 
So this is the basic operations of the ICOM ICR20. You'll have lots of video on the channel showing how to use more uh, extended features. This radio has a lot of features, so look for many, many videos explaining how to use all the different little functions available in this radio. Because there's lots of lots of stuff to learn. Um, I had a few videos online before about the operation. Uh, with all the comments I had, people enjoyed them. But I think I'm going to be a little more extensive here. I'll um, actually take uh, each function one by one and do a video on one specific function instead of doing too many functions in the same video. So this is basic operations of the ICOM ICR20. If you enjoy these videos and you want to see more or want to know when new videos are online, you can click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of all the videos we put online. And of course, if you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. If you have a question on what you've seen now that you don't understand or you didn't quite understand, hey, ask. It's the best way to learn. And if you've got this radio or if you want to buy it, and you have questions, uh, hey, let me know. I'm going to be really happy to um, answer those questions for you. So, uh, thanks for watching and 73s.